water supply services can fail for a variety of different reasons. People often focus on the failure of hand pumps, yet the failure of an entire borehole is far more costly and difficult to remedy. Poor borehole design and construction is a significant cause of failure. It is very difficult to fix problems with boreholes once work has been done. Professional and independent supervision of drilling contractors is critical to ensure the right steps are taken during drilling. So, when government officials or political leaders receive complaints about boreholes that are not functioning, this may be the result of poor design, construction and inadequate supervision of drilling work. When proper procedures are followed, boreholes can provide a reliable water supply for many years. Unfortunately, this does not always happen. When boreholes are poorly constructed, they will stop working within hours, days, weeks or months. The community is left with something that they cannot use. Money is wasted. Boreholes in Africa cost between $1,000 and $25,000 to construct. If the borehole is not properly constructed and fails to provide a service, this is a complete waste of investment. So what can go wrong? Boreholes can be drilled too shallow so that there's not enough water in the dry season. They can also be drilled unnecessarily deep, incurring excess cost. Boreholes can be badly constructed so that water cannot flow into the well. They can be badly developed, allowing fine materials to flow into the well, clogging the pump. So what is the best way to make sure that a high-quality borehole is drilled? A good site needs to be chosen in the first place. For example, it needs to be far enough away from any contamination source. It is essential that the work is done by a reputable drilling contractor and to have independent oversight by a professional supervisor. Whoever is paying for the borehole should ensure that a well-trained and experienced supervisor is present at all times during drilling. Spot checking is not enough. A supervisor may be a geologist, hydrogeologist, or retrained engineer. The supervisor makes sure that the drilling and completion of the work is done properly and in accordance with the specifications, making changes as necessary so that the finished borehole is of good quality. A good supervisor will bring relevant designs and specifications to the site and adapt them to the actual conditions. The borehole needs to be drilled straight. It also needs to be drilled to the correct depth so that enough water flows in. The screen needs to be positioned at the right place to let water into the borehole. The right grade of casing needs to be installed. Proper clean material needs to be used as a gravel pack. A sanitary seal of cement grout needs to be installed to prevent the borehole from being contaminated. The borehole needs to be flushed repeatedly using air until the water is completely clear of fine materials. The yield needs to be measured by pumping the water for several hours and the quality of the water needs to be tested. Supervisors have to make sure that these processes are properly followed. All records and data generated should be collected and submitted to the appropriate agency. It is the supervisor's job to make sure that a borehole can last for a lifetime. Drillers and supervisors that perform badly or collude to sign off low yield holes can be recommended for disqualification. If you contract a good drilling company and enlist the services of a professional drilling supervisor, you will construct better water supplies. An investment of $500 in professional supervision can save over $10,000 in the cost of a failed borehole. Don't leave everything in the hands of the driller. Find out if the boreholes on your projects are being properly supervised. To learn more, download the Drilling Supervision publication from the Rural Water Supply Network's website.